Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to work out the direction and magnitude of vectors. So you can see in this grid, we have two vectors, vectors A and vector B. And for each vector, we're going to work out its magnitude. We'll find a unit vector traveling in the same direction. And we'll work out the angle theta to the nearest degree. So we'll begin with vector A. So we're going to write vector A using I and J form. So you can see we go 2 in the I direction. So this will be 2I. And then 3 in the J direction. So 2I plus 3J. We could also write this in column vector form as 2 and 3. But to work out its magnitude, we need to imagine this as a right angle triangle, when this would be the hypotenuse. And this length would be the 2i, or just 2. And this length would be the 3. So now we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the magnitude of this vector, which would be the length of the hypotenuse. So the magnitude of vector A, we write the magnitude in vertical brackets like this, will be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 4 plus 9, so root 13. So this is our magnitude of a vector. So now we're going to work out a unit vector traveling in the same direction. So what this means is, it travels in the same direction, so it is parallel, but now we're traveling one unit. So we write this as VA with a hat on top. And this will be 2i divided by the magnitude of vector A. So we have 2i plus 3j over the square root of 13. But now we have an irrational denominator. So we need to rationalize this. And we can do this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by root 13. So because we're multiplying it by 1, we're not changing this vector. So we can work out our numerator. So we have root 13, lots of 2i plus 3j. And for our denominator, the square roots will cancel. So we have over 13. And this is our unit vector. OK, so finally, for part C, the angle theta to the nearest degree. Well, again, we're going to use a right angle triangle. We can use this one here. And this is the angle theta. So because we have the opposite, which is for 3, and the adjacent, which is for 2, we can use the tan of the angle theta is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So we take the arc tan of both sides. And these will cancel. So theta will be the arc tan of 3 over 2. And this will give us approximately 57 degrees. OK? So do you want to try and work out the magnitude, unit vector, and the angle theta for vector B? You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. OK, so welcome back if you had to go. So the magnitude of vector B, well, we'll write it in i and j form. So this will be 4i minus j. So it'll be the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared. 16 plus a 1, the square root of 17. So a unit vector will be 4i minus j over the magnitude of the vector, so root 17. But now we need to rationalize this denominator. So we'll multiply both by root 17. And this will become root 17, lots of 4i minus j over the square root here will cancel with this one. So just over 17. And this is our unit vector. Okay, so the angle theta. Well, I'm going to draw the right angle triangle. 
So we have 4 in the i minus 1 in the j, and this is theta. So we're going to use tan, which is the opposite, divided by the adjacent. So theta will be the arc tan of 1 quarter, which is 14 degrees approximately. Okay, let's try the next question. So for example two, we've been given two vectors, vector A, so 3i plus 2j, and vector B, i minus 2j. And we've been asked to work out the exact value of a magnitude of 2a plus b. So we'll begin by working out 2a plus b using column vector form. So we have two lots of 3 and 2. So 3 in the i direction, 2 in the j direction plus b, which is 1 and minus 2. 2 lots of 3 is 6, and 2 lots of 2 is 4. So 6 and 4, plus 1 and minus 2. The 6 add the 1 in the i direction is 7, and 4 take away 2 in the j direction is 2. So the right angle triangle we're going 7 in the i, 2 in the j. So our hypotenuse for magnitude will be the square root of 7 squared plus 2 squared, which is 49 plus 4, so the square root of 53. Okay, and finally for question 3, we've been given that the magnitude of a vector 4i minus kj is 2 root 13. And we've been asked to work out the exact value of k. So this is kind of like the problem in reverse, but we're going to begin by drawing a triangle using this vector. So we have 4i, and because we've got a minus k, we're going down by k, and the magnitude is still the hypotenuse, and this is given as 2 root 13. So Pythagoras' theorem, 4 squared plus k squared will equal 2 root 13 squared. 4 squared is 16, plus 3k squared will equal, and this makes 52. So k squared will equal 36, so k will equal 6. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's given you an idea about the direction and magnitude of vectors. Thanks again and take care.